Hey, what's up? We're left that pants with another Path of Exile video. In today's video, we're going to talk about our League Star strategy. We've been thinking a lot. We've done a bit of theory crafting on stream, and this is what we're going to go with. Just as a note to start off with, we've got the 324 Orb of Horizons cheat sheet that we make every league for the past, I don't know, 10 leagues or something. So this is it. I'll put a link to this in the description below so you can check out which maps are going to be the easiest to horizon into for uh, a really smooth atlas progression for you so for us to start off with i'm uh, just the very first thing that we're going to do in our map strat when we're clearing our atlases i'm going to be rushing packed with energy because i think this is really 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 good node i think this is uh, i use this every league and a lot as well and I think this is very, very strong because you get three max all res and coming out of maps, um, coming out of the campaign rather, and going into maps, you're usually quite resistant starved. Um, having the extra max res is really, really nice as you gear up. So that's the first thing I want to do is just get a bunch of gear and in, you know, the first... Uh, three tiers of maps just start gearing up and uh the max all res helps us take bigger hits uh it's 105 percent increased damage which is so good because map mods are one of the most dangerous things in path of exile and this is going to help us burst down uh, those bosses at the end of maps and 45 percent increased movement speed 45 percent that's re that's so good so Pack with energy is definitely what I'm taking first. And then I'm going to take these, uh, these these couple of small nodes here. And that's going to bring us up to a 64% chance to have Nico in every one of our maps. And so it's like two in three chance for Nico to be there. So it's a two in three chance that we'll have 45% increased move speed. And a two in three chance we'll have um, a you know, more than 100% increased damage. So good. Uh, then I'm going to take the Shaping the Mountains, the map wheel over here. And then we're going to come down here and uh, at this point I should probably be fairly well geared. So we should have, you know, we should be resistance capped. We're at 16 out of 123 points. Uh, so we're like, you know, maybe uh, very early yellow maps. And I'm going to start taking these betrayal nodes. Because the betrayal nodes, just getting betrayal in your maps constantly at the beginning is such a huge boost. There's a few reasons for this. Number one is XP. This, you get so much XP for executing those syndicate members, and that's just going to catapult us through our levels really early on. It's going to be very, very strong for us. Um, and the other one is mana. And the mana cost... Uh, lots of lots of mana stuff has been nerfed this league. So the uh, the less mana uh, on... Uh, the less mana craft on flasks is gone. Uh, less mana ca cost on jewels is gone as well there's a bunch of mana nerfs so i think elrion jewelry is gonna sell very very well so i want to farm that immediately uh, as soon as i basically you know syndicate the members they can hit pretty hard so i want to make sure i'm res capped and that i can uh, take those hits and i think getting some early betrayal stuff is going to be really important so that's what i'm going with for 18 points this is you know sort of like mid tier five maps and then we're going to concentrate on uh completing the atlas so we're going to go around take the kirak wheel nothing nothing crazy here um making sure we get the kirak wheel and then generating as many kirak missions as we can and then at this point i'm just going to start uh, allocating these uh the two percent increased chance for a monster to drop an additional connected map nodes this is our bread and butter for completing our atlas uh, and that's going to bring us up to I think it's around 50 points here if we take a bunch of these and then I'm going to take these extra map nodes as well because they're very very strong and that brings us to 50 and then I'm going to take shrines because shrines that's they're, they're so juicy they're so good if I could take shrines on every map I would and it seems like we're going to be able to take a lot of shrines so this is what the beginning is going to look like um, 54 points is, uh, if we just uh, undo this, I'm not sure how to undo this, um, then it's going to bring us to, oh, we've got to take this one as well. Uh, then it's uh, 
taking a, a couple more betrayal nodes as well. It's going to bring us up to around 58 points. And at at this stage, I think we're going to be bumping up against Eta and Exarch stuff. There's a few more map nodes we can have, um, which are going to make it even better. But this is how we're going to set up our map. Uh, our atlas strategy in order to try and fill out our atlas as quickly as possible because we want we want to get a bunch of points now usually around this point oh yeah, there's a couple more map ones here um oh we don't want to take those ones sorry so at this point we're probably going to switch to our second atlas tree now i don't know when we're going to get the second atlas tree we might only get the second atlas tree if we have killed eta and exarch so depending on what the requirement for that is it's going to depend on when we switch. But as soon as we get the second one, uh, we're going to start building it. And maybe we'll switch to it straight away, or it depends on how it feels. But we're going to try and fill out our Atlas as much as possible. And this is going to be our second one. So we're keeping the Betrayal Nose down here. We're keeping the Nico stuff. We're taking, keeping the Shrines. Uh, we've got the, the Map Nodes here. We've taken all of the Betrayal stuff because we're going to go pretty hard on Betrayal. We're playing a Trapper and... Provided we're zooming around fairly fast with our shield charge, then we're going to be able to get around quite well. And we'll be able to burst down these Syndicate members with our traps. Not effortlessly, but pretty easily. Um, and then we're taking you know more Delve stuff because we want to get Nico in here. We're going to take uh, this one as well because I really, I'm really interested in uh, what Doomed Spirits are. That's really fascinating to me, so I really want to know about that. And then we're taking more Syndicate stuff over here because we want to go hard in on the Syndicate stuff. We're going to be trying to farm a bunch of those Veiled Orbs from Katarina, if we can. We're going to test it out and see how it feels. But uh, pumping through Betrayal as early as possible, I think, is going to be really good. I'm probably going to save all those Veiled Orbs for later on because I think... Obviously, the you know the crafters really get going in like the first week, and I think that's when is going to be the best time to sell them. So I might just like try and farm I don't know ten fifteen depends on the drop rates, uh, and then sell them later on. And then we're going to take you know the intelligence gathering nodes. We're taking the extra shrine nodes over here, and then we're taking these shrine nodes down here. And the reason for this tree is it passes through all of the things that we know we're going to start with, and it also passes through the things I think are going to be useful for us to be near and that's expedition so we can this is basically exactly the same tree but with uh just the expedition nodes as well so if you position them like this you can see there's the only real difference is uh this one's got a nice number of points allocated and this one's got 100 and the only real difference is that we're taking a bunch of the expedition stuff here uh I'm, i've never taken this ancient decay nodes i'm not really sure that's useful but we're taking the expedition chance and the extra uh, artifacts we're taking this whole wheel along with extreme archaeology i really like extreme archaeology i'm i never want to have to place those explosives ever again that's not that's not how i want to live my life and uh, we're taking danig and tujin we probably actually uh start off with rog as well because rog early on is pog so maybe we'll go with rog a little bit as well to do some crafts depending on what the crafting in the necropolis league is like but then uh yeah filling out this wheel and taking these extra nico chances so we're going to get a hundred percent chance to have nico in all of our maps and that's going to mean that we're going to be fast damage e and and uh, tanky because we have the three percent increased uh or res or at least elemental res so this is what our first 101 points are gonna look like i think expedition is gonna be pretty good this league obviously tujin just craps out money but he has been nerfed uh one league ago one and a half leagues ago it was not in a patch note anywhere but it was definitely we we tested and it was around half the amount of divines you got from uh, Tujin. I think they also nerfed the amount of stack decks you get from Tujin this league, or maybe they buffed it, but there was something in the patch notes about the, uh, the amount of stack decks you get from Tujin. So that's going to be worse, but we'll be selling log books or maybe running them if they're rog. We'll be doing some rog crafting, but uh, yeah, this is what it's going to look like. We're playing uh, Trapster, Trickster Traps, but uh, it's 
look man i'm so excited for this league it's shaping up to be absolutely wonderful but these will all be in the description below uh, i hope you check them out and obviously the orb horizons cheat sheet flashbang will be there as well so check that out make a you can make a copy or just um take a picture and then add it to your overlay so you can check it out whilst you're horizoning stuff in game anyway that's it for me i hope you have a fantastic league launch uh i'll see you on the beach on friday exiles i hope you are kind to everyone you meet i love you all very much and i'll see you next time cheers <laughs>